everyone, so today as promised I'm going to be sharing with you all sort of the continuation of my top MAC lipsticks video which I posted last. Um, this is all about my top MAC lip glosses and I feel like to me MAC probably I can safely say makes my favorite lip glosses because I own the most of them and over the years they're the ones that I've definitely repurchased the most. And again, I literally just picked the ones that I liked. I didn't want to like contain myself to a certain number or anything. Oh, and I'm also going to share with you my must-have lip liner as well because some of you mentioned in the last video that you wish I would have included that. And I totally should have. I even had it sitting out. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's going to be in this one too. Okay, so I'm going to do it much like the last one where I'm going to do the swatches. I don't know which arm I'm going to do it on. Probably this one because I've got my bracelets on. I have a mix of lip gloss, luster gloss, which if you're familiar with MAC lip glosses, um, they come in a couple of different formulas. There's just the, the lip gloss, which is just the regular lip gloss. There's the luster gloss, which have a bit of a sheen. And honestly, while I own more of the lip gloss, the luster glasses are probably my absolute favorite. Probably the actual colors themselves. The few that I really love are just great. Um, I like the applicator as well. It's the little brush applicator. I like lip glosses that have that better than the little foot. Um, and then I do have one cream sheen glass. And also there are plush glasses which have the subtle plumping effect. And I have one of those as well. First of all, I will start with the one that I'm wearing today. I've had it on for about an hour now. So it really stays put and all that. And I'm wearing it over snob lipstick. Um, so if you want to see my list of lipsticks, you can check out that last video. This is called Morning Glory, and it is a luster glass. This one is probably one of my absolute tops. It's beautiful. It's like a very cool lilac -y pink, and it works over literally any and everything. The lip glosses are going to be harder to swatch, um, but you'll, you'll be able to get the idea. This is a little applicator. You can see, hopefully, it's a little brush. This, I feel like, is going to be harder to see than the... Uh, swatches of the lipsticks, but you can kind of get an idea hopefully um, and I'm wearing it today again I'm wearing it over snob which is I think like the perfect combo if you've got snob and you love that color You need morning glory. It's just one of those colors. I've talked about for years. That is just wonderful oh, My ring fell off next is another luster glass and this one is called instant gold I really love this one as well. This is just one of those like go-to it's pretty, it's gold, but it's not like metallic craziness on your lips. It's beautiful over nude lip gloss, or nude lipsticks. I love it over Myth. It's better than I think, like, say, See Through, which actually did not make my list, uh, which is a really popular MAC nude lip, lip gloss. I like this one that has a little bit of the shimmer and depth to it. You can see that there. I'll do just like I did with my last one in post photos. I think these will actually probably show up more in photos. Okay, next, this, I, I, I feel like I'm kind of being biased and I'm starting with the best ones, but that's okay. This one, I would say, probably is at the, between this one and Morning Glory, at the very, very top, and this is Star Nova. This one is a luster glass as well, and it's just a beautiful, plummy color. I have definitely repurchased this one more than, more than any of them. This one's definitely been repurchased by me the most. And you can see it's a little darker, and what I love about that is that it's just beautiful over any lip color, especially over my beloved Viva Glam 5. But it's nice because it is literally one of those colors that you can put in your bag and put on, and it looks like a lip combo on its own. Like, you don't need the lipstick or the liner or everything with it. It's just all on its own, just the most perfect color. So if you're a lip gloss person, you're not a big lipstick fan, and you just like to have that color that you can just pull out and use, this is it and you need it. Next is Love Nectar. This is the last of the luster glasses that I have on the list, but this is just one of those gorgeous colors that you probably, just like those others, um, especially the Morning Glory and the Star Nova, heard, you've heard, probably heard me mention this a ton over the years. Um, it's just one of those colors that literally goes over everything. And I feel like that about the Morning Glory, you can do that with this one. Literally, you could probably put it over anything from nudes to darker colors, and it just gives it a little bit of depth and is just such a gorgeous color. And it's also really, really pretty on its own. Super pretty. You can kind of see it's um, a little more peachy. So, luster glasses to me are just where it's at, and I love them. Is that the last one? Yeah. The lids are just slightly different if you look. The luster glass lid, you can see, has that bit of a 
um, iridescence to it. Okay, so I'll go on to the lip glasses next. This one is Oyster Girl. This is a color that is very, very frosted and very, very pink. It's like a silvery, very cool pink, but it actually looks like it has some gold to it. You can see the, um, the applicators on these are a bit different. They're the little foot. This one doesn't have that like shimmer of a luster glass, but it has a bit of a frost. Um, so I don't know if you can really tell a lot. Like I said, you'll probably be able to see more from the actual photos. I like to use frosted or shimmery lip glosses. Um, not a huge fan always of frosted lipsticks, but the frosted lip glosses are always pretty over stuff like that. While that one is very, very frosted, um, Bait is another version of a beautiful pink. has a bit of a frost to it, nothing crazy. I, I would call it more of like, it's, it's not a very like harsh shimmery frost. Um, or a silvery frost. It's just a little more warmer than Oyster Girl. This one I would say most people would probably, this is just a go-to light pink that I think most people would like. And again, these colors I would definitely say, any of these you could throw in your bag and put them on and you wouldn't need lipstick. Um, but Bait is one of those colors that really does show up on my lips. It shows up as a light pretty pink. Another pink, and this one is sort of like on that same realm of just a basic pink lip gloss. Just depends on how much frost you like. Um, but this one really doesn't have any frost at all. Maybe just trace amounts, not even visible. Um, let me show you before I do this. It's called Underage, a very popular MAC lip gloss, really pretty. And just one of those like, I think universal ones. To me, I would describe it as more of like a nude pink super pretty and I love nude pink looks anyways um, but this one is just really friendly I would say to wear on its own as well if you wanted a nude pink look without looking like super painted on this color I believe is limited edition I'm not sure though because I got it not that long ago um, it is it was from where they made some of the actual like best lipstick colors like their most popular lipstick colors into actual um, lip glosses I think they even had like myth and all that um, but this is Saint Germain which is of course if you're familiar with MAC lipsticks that beautiful cool lilac-y pink it doesn't have any shimmer or any frost to it at all but it is so beautiful and bright it's just really pretty on your lips and it just sort of gives you that brightness you can see it's a little more intense than the other pinks it's just beautiful so you could put it on over some of your brighter pinks if you really wanted a pink look you didn't want it to sort of like be washed out at all by any other lip glosses this one will retain like the pretty brightness of your pink or you could just wear it on its own. I'll, sh I'll show you the plush glass really quickly. This one is called Confetti. It's my favorite plush glass. I've owned a bunch of different plush glasses over the years and I could definitely include a lot of them as really good lip glosses. But this one is always one that I like to go back to. It's called Confetti and it's just a really, really pretty coral. These don't really sting your lips. They don't do sting mine, but I know that some people are more sensitive to things. It has just the tiniest bit of a sheen to it and these have the same applicator as the lip glasses do. I've always said over the years that they smell, you know, they have that typical Play-Doh smell. Sort of almost like the Buxom. They even have that hint of a Play-Doh scent. Um, so these do smell quite different, uh, so you may want to try it out if you're sensitive to scents and you don't really like things like that. Um, but this is just beautiful, you can see. It really comes off the color that it looks in the container. So beautiful on its own, beautiful over other colors. And this is a cream sheen glass in Nectar Sweet. Not sure if it's available, and like I said, you know, even in the last video I shared I think like one color that was limited, and these last two colors are I think definitely are. I think the Nectar Suite is too. But just again, be on the lookout, like I said in the last video of the um, limited color that I shared. If you ever see these, they're worth checking out. This is the Cream Sheen Glass in Nectar Suite. And to me, I just have really enjoyed this, but I haven't used it as much as I probably would have if it would have been readily available because I just don't want to use it all up. But it is really beautiful. The cream machines are nice. They're not like, I mean, this one isn't like paint or like soup. Some of them are very, very like a little more opaque than others. But I really like this one. It's just a basic color and it's just a really beautiful shimmery um, peachy pink that I just think would work with anyone. And then this is probably the most unique and again the one that is definitely limited edition that if it ever comes back out I will buy like five of. It is definitely 
it still smells good. It smells brand new, but um, it's it's not. I probably wouldn't be prone to use it a lot just because it is a little older and I'm very funny about lip glosses, but it's called Electric Fuchsia and it's just this beautiful purple and it's got blue flecks in it. It's just gorgeous and probably the most unique. I just love it so much and it is worth mentioning. I think it sucks that you can't get it, but it's, oh, that blue shimmer is so pretty. But it's worth mentioning because if you ever see it you have to scoop it up and that's what it looks like beautiful over colors again or on its own I really just like wearing it on its own that blue shimmer is just so so gorgeous so those are the lip glosses I'm not gonna go crazy with the lip pencils because I only have one I thought about including subculture which is just like that typical nude don't use that much though because there's other nudes that I think are better by other brands um, I was going to include spice, but anything I use spice with, I can use this one with. I think this is just the best universal lip liner. I use this much more than my nude um, Tarte Perfect Nude or whatever that's called, or Too Faced. I forgot what brand that's by. Um, any other lip pencils, this is it. It's Dervish, and it is perfect. You can do it with nude lips. You can use it with pink or dark or even red. You could use this and you'd be fine. Um, it looks like that so it's sort of like a mauvey pink for me it's very universal and I'm kind of fair but if you have darker skin and a lot of those universal lip liners are like a joke to you because they're like concealer and they're way too nude try this I think that you would love it and to me I think this is more universal than some of those like browns and nudes I really love this and definitely my number one if I only had one lip pencil, this would be it. Okay, so that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Again, check out the lipstick one if you missed it. I will have swatches of all these on my blog because I know it's kind of hard, especially with the light and everything, to see these reflective um, gloss swatches. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.